So you want to learn how to motion track objects in Adobe Premiere, just like this. Well, I'm going to show you that in this video. I'm going to jump into Premiere Pro right here. And I'm going to show you exactly how you do that. And if you want to get super complicated, yes, I already know you can do this within After Effects, motion track, track motion, null object, but there's a really lazy way of how you track motion objects within Premiere Pro. I'm going to show you right now in this video without zooming in and showing you guys the entire screen. So let's get into it. So what you want to do now is you want to go to that clip and find exactly where you want to motion track, right? So let's say that clip, you're scrolling through your footage where what's the motion that I want to track right here. Put my endpoint. find my endpoints and my outpoints, a little motion there, in and out, drag the video clip onto that, and done. As you can see here on my screen is that I have these little layouts here, so I know exactly where is the middle. But let's say you don't have that. So what you wanna do is you click this toolbar right here, the settings, wrench over here, and make sure you turn on your safe margins, right? As well as show your rulers and show your guides. Now you will know exactly where that middle is. All you need to do is drag down this right here, making sure it matches the safety lines. Drag on the left side and you're trying to go for exactly in the middle as you can get. And this is a good way to know that you're in the middle. Next, what you want to do is you go into your effects control panel and you want to do keyframe by keyframe. And yes, I know this is tedious, but if you want to stay within the Premiere Pro workspace and workflow and not have to jump or create an After Effects composition, this is how I do it. So then all I do next is I zoom in the scale of it, which allows me to have a little wiggle room. But we can do that after point to show you guys why I do that. So what I do next is I click on the stopwatch and I'm making sure that this is centered, right? And then I go forward, let's say a couple frames. One, two, three, four. Track that there. One, two, three, four. I move it here. Track that bit up. So you're essentially tracking it frame by frame by trying your best with these rulers and guides to keep it in the middle, right? Is it gonna be perfect? No. But if you're essentially using this clip for let's say two to three seconds, it's not gonna be a deal breaker, especially, especially if you are using, creating this for a YouTube video. So essentially what you just did was you tracked this motion which After Effects does this by AI and using Sensei, but you did it manually. So as you can see now. And then you're like, okay, that's cool. There's these black bars on the side. What you want to do, just scale it up. So zoom in. And there, right here, just cut this. And then I can just loop this. And now you can see this track motion. Of course, it can look a lot prettier and cleaner if you actually did it keyframe by keyframe, but that is how you motion track most accurately that you possibly can within Premiere Pro, the super lazy way. And I hope that was able to help you guys exactly see that, yes, you can track motions manually within Premiere, but obviously if you were in After Effects, you do this through track your motion, create a null object, pair that with the pick whip, and you know the deal. If this video was able to help you, my name is Peter. I help you become a better content creator. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, check out the rest of my videos, and we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. And hopefully this ends all those comments about you zoomed in too much, I couldn't see what you're doing. Well, I hope you can see me now, you know?